Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once more, once more, once more, and we are going on. Ooh, as Tainted Keeper as well. A joyous day of days. What a fantastic character to be playing as. Probably my favourite Tainted character. He, it's a bit of a toss-up. I've got a lot that are my favourite. Ooh, this is also an XL floor. Don't go to the item room first because there's just essentially no point. Uh, I got them all, yes. Uh, there's essentially no point because... We might not be able to afford what's in there. I mean, it's not super likely. Do you know, I'm gonna I gotta say, I'm gonna try and get these guys first because they're super, super like low threat. Um, and then go into the center for the baby boys. Uh, I, I think it's kind of makes a lot more sense. So let's let's let a few of you out. Let's get you over here. Just so we can try and get maximum money from this. Because not all of these dips are gonna drop anything, but a lot of them will. A lot of them will. So this is a really good room for making some pretty good money so i want to make sure to uh make the most of it here i actually think maybe the dips that spawned in the room definitely drop money and the ones that were spawned by the enemies definitely don't or at least have a low chance to that's good stuff that's already enough money to come over to my item room and see if i can afford something so yeah that's see already we've got an item here we just don't want um actually wait wait, wait. removes half a heart and creates a clot familiar way Hmm, how would that work? <laughs> how exactly would that work? Does that work? I feel like that could be really cool or insanely terrible. Okay, we're probably going to miss out on quite a lot of money here, so I'm going to try. Oh uh, yeah, that didn't really work. I thought I'd try a little tactic there to kill as many enemies as I could so I could get round to the coins. Didn't end up working out. Didn't think I'd get much out of that room anyway, so I'm not exactly super upset about it. Not exactly super upset about it. But yeah, as for, as for the question of the day here, going for just a pretty standard, pretty normal one. Um, what are your plans for the coming week? What are your plans? Although, I know that it is uh, nearly the end of the week for you guys now. So, if, if that is the case, if that is when this video goes out, what are your plans for the weekend? What are your plans for the weekend? Um, milk, another item I really don't care about. Um, okay. Unfortunately, not great to start here on this first floor. Two items that I think are kind of trash. I might take some Torium after seeing what the Devil Deal is, just to see if it's any good. Because it might be. But I, I feel like it'll either not work or just kill me straight away. Or get me killed straight away, should I say. Hey, we got a, we got a headless one and a full head one. What's going on with that? Okay, we're good. Check the shop out. This is the most important thing here. I mean... Hmm. Well, this this is really good just in case. This is really good. And this could be really good. But I think we, we ought to not go for that first. But yeah, host hat, of course, amazing. Something that's always going to be valuable to us. Um, especially if we can get some explosive based weaponry on our side but yes we do have i'll probably put an announcement trailer up for it before this video goes out i'm not 100 percent sure yet if i haven't then it'll be less of a surprise but there you go um in case you haven't seen over on bd one piece channel um he put out the trailer for the new nuzlocke last year we did uh isaac nuzlocke between me and a bunch of different creators it was a lot of fun and BD1P has decided to run another one this year. And, of course, I graciously accepted because it was a lot of fun. Except this time we're going to do it with uh, a little bit more rules in place. We're going to impose around a two-week time limit so it doesn't go on forever like last time. And we're going to be doing it with a selected five modded characters. They aren't 100% locked in as to what characters they'll be yet. But Tainted Andromeda and Andromeda are definitely two of them. So that's going to be fun. Um, probably going to die a lot. Might end up getting out pretty darn early. Um, but but it's going to be a lot of fun nonetheless. And I'm really excited to um, to go forward with that. And I I'm, I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to do it at first. Because obviously the, the most obvious way to go forward with it would be to stream it. Uh, as I did last time. But... Honestly, I don't know. I don't stream much, so not much of my audience is on there. And I could stream it, then upload it, but I also don't... I wouldn't... I'd have to then record my normalizing episodes and then the stream episodes. And I'm not sure if I want to do that because that's a big time commitment. So what I'm probably going to do is 
record it as a YouTube series and upload it in place of the regular series just for a few weeks. I hope you guys are okay with that. It'll be a lot of fun. We It might end up being shorter than that because if we die early, um, if we lose all our characters early, then we'll be out. Um, I don't I don't consider myself someone that's in the running to get a, a win, I will say. Uh, but I do know the most about the modded characters out of anyone playing. I have had the most experience with modded out of all of the people that are playing. I think Neonomi, um, who is a Russian YouTuber who is definitely the best Isaac player out of anyone playing, has the least experience with modding. So even though he's the best player, I have the advantage over him in knowing the characters a little better. That doesn't mean that I'm going to win though. And then BD1P has been playing modded characters for a while, so he'll do well. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, upgrade every normal familiar to super. Familiars uh, to upgrade. I have 20 chance to find sewing machines to devil rooms. Is that any good? Let, let, let's go get sump and see how it works. I might just die upon using it, but I'm willing to take that risk. Basically, my hope is it spawns a clot and then I can pick up a penny to get the health back. So what we do is we wait until we find a penny, we pop it, then pick up the penny straight away. It might not work as this character just full stop, but I feel like I've got to try it because it could be a really interesting run if it does end up working. But yeah, so I, I'm, I'm super, 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 duper, super. Okay, so let's 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 take out a good proportion of this room first. Let's um kill you. Okay, this is a good usage. Oh, that works. Okay, this is pretty mega. Didn't expect that to work. But now you see we have two clots and we're still at full health. See that? Also, the fish tail is really good here because we're getting double flies. Yeah, this is... It's risky, but it could be kind of nutty. We just have to be a slightly, slightly refrained with how we do this. We do got to realize as well that we don't get the money whenever we heal. So, like, these pennies here, I could... I could do a little bit of trickery so i could just go pop and grab and i could do the same for all of them but that, that would take forever i don't need a, an entire massive army of, of the clot boys i just need a little army just a little army to get me by okay i never thought this would be so unbelievably strong this is it, it's insanity how strong this is and i love it I love it. You, if you're wondering as well why the clots aren't decaying, um, it's because I have a mod on that makes clots work like they do in Classic, because I like that. Ooh, I think this is actually a pretty good item to grab as this character. I'm okay with taking stats down to be able to buy stuff that I can't otherwise afford, because if they give us stats or they give us more stats than we would have done from losing them sort of thing, we can actually gain quite a lot out of this, I think. Also, I mean, our money's looking fine, so it's not exactly a huge downer. But yeah, so I'm not going to use some Torium anymore while I've got this amount of clots. I don't want to I don't want to sacrifice too much of my money or risk too much. Do you know what I do? I lied. Um, but I also don't want to make the game too laggy. But I want to create a, a nice nice amount of power for ourselves. When we're one-shotting things like that, I think we're in a good place. Just the fact that if even if they die, we can get them back so easily. How did I not get that coin then? That was surprising. Okay, check out the shop. So we got Play-Doh cookie, 100% must take. We've got Mum's lipstick here. We've got spawns a swarm fly upon taking damage. Kind of interesting. The compass is uh, is okay, but we don't need it. Let's let's see if we get some more money first. Play-Doh cookie is gonna be so good. For one, one of my favorite items in the game. But for two, with this amount of tears going out, also we have her stat. Forgot about that. Um, with this amount of tears going out, we really don't have to worry. Like. We're going to get every single tier effect we can possibly imagine. I, I really don't know if we have to bother playing this um, golden penny here. Might be a bit of a waste of time, but I'm going to do it anyways. But yeah, so I really hope you guys like the idea of that. And I hope that those of you that really like the regular series will still tune in and watch it while it replaces it for a few weeks. The episodes will be muchly the same. 
Um, we'll, we'll, I'll still tell stories. I'll still keep the commentary mostly the same. The only difference will be that we'll be try-harding not to die. We'll be playing safe. And we will be talking a little bit more about Isaac and the tactics that it takes for us to get the wins as those characters. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys really like the idea. There'll also be a website up where you can track everyone's progress and see how everyone stacks up against each other. See how everyone's performing during the Nuzlocke. Um, like I said, I, I think... I think basically, for right now, um, BD1P, Neonomi, or two, one of the other new creators that have joined. I think there's a Banana Resort and someone else. I can't remember what the other person's called. I, I honestly um, don't watch a lot of other Isaac creators nowadays, obviously. Um, so, I do apologize if um, I don't know who some people are. I don't mean to be rude. Cuba me is whatever. I think we'll just get going down to the next floor. But yeah, okay. Sump is the best thing you can ever receive as this character. It's it's intensely amazing. Uh, one thing I will state as well is there, there will not be the normal mods on that series. Um, so we won't be using all the normal new item mods and stuff like that. We won't be using the Eternal Enemies on the Boss Armor mod or anything like that. There will be a few mods and maybe some content mods that hasn't been fully decided yet. But for the most part, we're going to keep it v um, vanilla plus, so to say. Ooh. Yes. I do like the tiers, but this amount of technology seems like a lot of fun. Um, especially because of the piercing and rainbows. Uh, yeah, um, sort of because, like, for one... Uh, we don't want to muddle the pools with too many new items because obviously a lot of the characters, especially some characters still aren't decided on, but ones like Bertrand, if he ends up being one of them, do kind of rely on um, on the vanilla item synergies to be strong. So adding in a bunch of modded items makes him a lot less viable. Um, so that's one reason. But also, some of the other creators just have never played the other mods, and it's kind of a little unfair to those. And also, we want to make sure the game isn't um, want to make sure the game isn't laggy. Want to make sure the, the frame rate's really good. So there'll be a few additional content mods, but there won't be a lot. Um, and then visual mods are visual mods. Anyone can use any amount of visual mods as and when they please. That really doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. So all the visual mods that I normally use will still be uh, in use. Just some of the content mods won't be. But like I said, if you guys really like those mods and really like seeing them in the episodes, do not worry because they won't be gone for long. It literally will be uh, probably two weeks at max. And that's only if I live that long, which I'm going to say probably not. Because uh, I think... Andromeda, I can do okay as. Tainted Andromeda, I could easily die on the very first run, guaranteed. Um, if Bertrand gets put into it, he could be tricky. Um, if the Deleted gets put into it, he could be tricky. If Mastema gets put in there, he could be tricky. So there's there's a lot of them that, um, that, that could result in early deaths. Wowee. Right, let's not take everything here. Let's get up to 99 and then duck out. I mean... We could create a bunch of new clots off of the back of that. This is frustrating. Right, shop is here. Careful, Clotty. Some of them are decaying. Um, do we want this? Yes, I guess. Why not? I guess. Why not? Sucks the coins towards us. It's kind of nice. It's going to look really, really fun in this room. I know we don't need them all, so I'm not going to do them all. I will just wait and get another sump going. Why the hell not? Yeah, sadly no deep pockets thus far. That would be pretty good with this setup. Nice. Absolute army. What a champion this guy is right now. Okay, good. Obviously, sometimes we might not want the pennies to go straight towards us, but when we do, it's fine. 
<laughs> God damn. That's a very good one to pick up. Have we done Mega Satan as this guy? We have not. I think this is a good run to try it. Probably should have tried to destroy that purple fire there. Come on, my army. Let's go. God damn, we're getting a lot of health upgrades, though. That's, that's rather annoying. That is rather annoying. We're getting close to running out of shops to utilize. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Ooh, we should probably grab that key, actually. Um, I don't like this room. This room messes with my head. It's okay, though, because it's done. Oh, that's a, that's a Dom, Nick. I was wondering what the hell that was for. There you go. Well, we've got this much money, we can create a lot of extra... A lot of extra fellas. I think the limit with these guys is just 64 as well. I think it's a pretty high limit. Like, just the familiar limit. Some of those didn't drop money. I don't really know why that was. We are able to shoot through walls sometimes as well, which is kind of intriguing. Lovely. The shop here, we definitely want that. The blanket's pretty good as well. I forget that we've got double damage right now, and that's why we're kind of doubly wrecking everything. Mask of Infamy's fantastic here for us. Oh, wait. I just made a huge mistake. I need to be very careful. I just accidentally... Um, I accidentally used Sump without having a coin available to me. Which means I've got to be very cautious going into my next room. I mean, it's unlikely I'll die, but a, a, a really, like, annoying rogue room could get me. There you go, we're good. Yeah, I'm going to say, like... Some rooms could end up catching me out, so I do have to be careful. Like this room, for example, which apparently... Oh, uh, they get caught on my clots. That's perfect. That is perfect. Right. Monstro 2, I've got something for you. Don't think that does much for us. Once per room, a damage has a half heart. Okay. Damn it. Why are we getting such bad stuff right now? Good, good. Okay. Army, come along. My army stands tall. They grow mighty and large. It is perfect. Perfect and schlagen, as it's called. Give me that bomb. I'm loving it. But yeah, I'm going to say, I, I, just generally, I'm, I'm so excited for the Nuzlocke. It was so fun last year. The only problem with it was that we just... We hadn't really prepared, for, like, correctly. We'd done a bit of preparation, and we'd done a bit of planning, but to be honest, we hadn't really done it right, and so it meant that it never really ended. Um, so, like, obviously there were so many characters to go out, it was a full save file, so people were playing for a really long time, and, and it just got to the point, like, I never actually fully died, but I just kind of ran out of steam, and a lot of other people had already fully died, so it was just kind of like, meh. Not much of a competition anymore, and that was kind of a big problem with it. I think another thing as well was that um, a few players um, kind of took it a bit too seriously at the time. Um, and um, one person in particular that is no longer part of the Isaac community, um, and rightfully so because they were outed as doing some not-so-nice things, but that person in particular... Um, basically just played the nuzlocke like all the time every day and was literally hundreds of points ahead of everyone else and it just it just kind of wasn't fun after that because there was no physical way you were going to catch up with that person or beat them because they were a genuinely very good isaac player um but it, it just it just kind of defeated you a little bit it kind of felt a little pointless and we, we need to make sure that doesn't happen again Hello, Mr. Mega. Thank you. Hello, hello. Let's go, my sweets. Let's go. Do you ever think you'd see the Tainted Eve Keeper run? Do you ever think it would be this crazy? 
How is this a synergy that like is known? I'm sure because it's only a it's not it's only a one item synergy. It's not like crazy. But I wonder how like well known this is. Thank you. Wait a minute. Um, let's give it as a decent damage up. I'll take it. But yeah, 2020. Don't know how useful 2020 is, but I'll take it. Good enough for me. Oh, hello, haunted chest. Anything for me as well? Golden coin, not bad. Oh, this this thing with the magnet with the magnet is satisfying. It's so much easier to pick up. Okay, boss time, and then next floor is our. Oh no, this floor is our last shop, sadly. Still, let's go. Oh my god, we can probably do boss rush here as well. Have we done boss rush? We have done boss rush, but I feel like we can do it. Let's not take um, let's not take perfection though. We want to be taking dark path here. Let's check it out. See what's what. Get a small stat up whenever you pick a coin. Chance to lose stat up and spawn pickups once per floor when coins are picked up. That sounds really good. This is unfortunately a, a kind of bad arena for us. We've got to be careful, because obviously there's a lot of ways we can e easily die here. But, at the same time, there's a lot of bosses we're going to kill very, very quickly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is one of the bosses we need to be, yep, yeah, ultra careful of. Because this guy is a mega bitch. Mega bitch. You're horrible. You're such a terrible boss. Have some indication of where your foot's going to land, dude. I realise that he just, like, lands on your location, but it's so hard to see sometimes. And then sometimes he doesn't do that. It's just kind of mean. I need to regain my boys. Move that out of the way a minute. Okay, come on Loki, you're going down. Rainmaker's going down. The frail is going down. Basically, things that can brimstones from off screen or like land things on our head are the main threats right now. Everything else is. Things that can jump on us too are actually kind of a big threat. Everything else is kind of fine. There you go, you're dead. It's just unfortunate this arena is kind of messy for us. The arena's really not great. Right. We've got a pin coming in from somewhere. There. Honestly, all the status effects are really what's winning it for us right now. You walked right into the hellfire, my lad. Very bad idea. we got some brimstoning over, over there. I don't think they can brimstone you from off screen, but I might be wrong about that. I'm Mr. Fred somewhere. Wait, do we have Mr. Fred? Oh, Mr. Fred just doesn't have a boss bar. Or at least doesn't have a proper boss bar. Weird. I thought he did. Okay. Oh, this is another boss that can really be problematic for us. Mainly because he has just a bajillion iframes. Fuck you. Just fuck you. That boss is such BS. If I die now because I lost that coin, I'm going to be so annoyed because that boss is so unfair. Come 
Why are all these bosses dropping coins now? This is really scary. It's also really scary when all of my clots bugger off elsewhere. This is Monstro, right? He might jump on us. No, it's not Monstro. It's not Monstro. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. I know I'm gonna die. And it's 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 because of that stupid fucker. Why is this not dealing damage? These stupid metal blocks. Who designed this fucking course? Okay. We made it through. We got Eden's blessing. We still need a penny. I that that triacnid arachnid stupid stupid boss someone if if you're please listening make a mod for me that just removes him from the game entirely just he never ever shows up again cuz I, I i just genuinely actually despise that boss so much i don't even want a mod that makes him better just just get rid just get rid completely Ooh, we're getting all the stabs, look. Nice. Getting all those stabs. Don't know why I'm going this way, I'll be honest. This way is not the correct way at all. Or not by the looks of it, at least. We should try and get some more clots going, because a lot of these clots are very, very weak. And I think we lost a good few as well in the uh, in boss rush there. What are these guys doing exactly? I don't know, but I don't care. Goodbye. Damn it, I buggered it up again. Whoa, that guy is healthy. Holy. Okay. Really hard to actually effectively dodge here with this setup, but I'll try it. Okay, we're good. We got the hollowed out rock, which does that. Does it in different rooms too? I think Horror Babylon auto activates for us, right? No. <laughs> Apparently not. Anyways, down we go. God damn. I'm on the edge of my seat. Scary times. We can get some familiars here. We can get a familiar here. We can get some items here. I don't care about the other one. Let's just go with this. All right. Why are some of the beams really big? Are they just my beams that are really huge? I think they are. Good stuff. Yeah, it's really easy to create the clots if you get the timing right. The timing can be a slight bit of a pain, but it's not really that hard. You just gotta do it the right way around. Sometimes I don't, because I'm a goober. The fact as well that you can do it after the room finishes because the coins stick around too makes it even better. If you don't have a charge at the start of the room, you can do it at the end. And on to you. We might lose a few clots here, but you should die pretty quick regardless. And gotta remember the clots block shots too, so we do get saved by them. Okay, have we done hush? We haven't done hush. I don't know if hush is a good idea, because we're kind of relying on the clots and hush will kill all. All of them. Guaranteed they'll all die. So I'm going to say no to, to Hush. We're already doing Mega Say in this run. This way, I think.
We got Alabaster Box out of that somehow. Not that that makes any difference to us because Alabaster Box is useless for us, right? Yeah, now that we don't need the money as well, it's even, even better because we're not wasting any money by spending it on charges. It's literally one penny for a clot. That's that's the value right now. One penny for a clot. <laughs> Soul of Forgotten, no thank you. Good, good. We have a very good swarm of clots right now. I think we should kill the boss pretty darn quick. And it just keeps growing. We just keep getting more and more. The thing is as well, if we hit the limit and end up replacing them, we're just replacing low health ones with high health ones anyways. So it kind of works out at the end of the day, either way. Okay, it's time for you. Get ready to say bye-bye. Get ready to say bye-bye. Obviously, Mega Satan, when we get to him, is going to kill these pretty quick. We're blasting our way through the armor as well sometimes. We do have coming down mod here, so the feet shouldn't be as big of an issue as normal. But I'm not saying they're not going to be an issue at all. Good, good. Got that one as well. 2 plus 1 has been unlocked. That's a good item. I like it. Unfortunately, nothing here is very worthwhile. Got two for one there. Tear detonator. We're getting a lot of good stuff, like really good stuff out of this picking up coins thing. But obviously, I think this was designed without this character in mind. Being able to basically instant fill up the meter or whatever you want to call it. I'm able to get to the reward significantly faster than most characters would be able to. Ooh, Mega Fatty looks very good. <laughs> oh my god. The army keeps getting larger. Ooh, who has boss armor here, I wonder. How, how did the Death Scythe survive that? Come on now. That's just silly. Right. On to the lamb. Ooh, he's got a bit of a resprite as well, actually. Looking rather good. Someone made a really good point, actually. Some of these um, new sprites that I've got that look a little more cartoony actually fit the aesthetic really well because it kind of looks like they were drawn by Isaac. This guy is taking a beating, considering our current damage. What the hell happened there? Oh, okay, I just lost my uh, holy mantle. I thought I died there for some reason. I don't know why. I thought, like, I heard that noise and was like, wait, oh, wait, am I dead? I thought I was going to revive as someone or something, but then I realized, for one, I have no re there's no reason why that should have killed me, but also I don't have any revives, so I was like, oh, why am I being dumb? But anyways, this will finish this out. This has been made so much more enjoyable by Play-Doh Cookie, I have to say. Okay. Back to Mega Satan we go. I just love the fact as well that this run wouldn't have really been anything that significant or special without this setup. Let's pop that. What does Tear Dead Air actually do for us here? Nothing really. Okay. I was going to say maybe take it, but in that case, no thanks. I guess I take Brother Bobby. Why not? Oh, yeah, definitely. There you go. We got conjoined out of it. Perfect. I wasn't really considering taking him, but then I was like, oh, okay then. If you're going to be like that. It's actually, conjoined is kind of perfect for this guy, because now we perfectly hit everything. Ooh. 
You're all going to take a bit of time. Get boss armored, boy. He's one of the bosses that has boss armor that I really don't like having boss armor. Because none of the other horsemen do. Well, none of the other regular horsemen do, and it just doesn't feel right. Keep my army going strong. They're nice and split out as well. Honestly, we're killing all the summons so fast, it's kind of insane. I think he's on his way out, pretty much. He's going to do a big brimstone blast in a second. Oh, nope, we killed him before he could. This is where we lose all of our clots. This section here, we, we, we basically, this is a race against time. We've got to kill him before he kills our clots. Just because, not for the damage, more so for the fact that um, we we need the protection. So, like, stay sound sort of behind them all. Use them as a as a nice little shield. I mean, it looks like we're going to be absolutely fine. Still, just have to be careful just in case. I don't know if delirium is plausible on this run, but if I get given the option to, then I might as well. Yeah. I don't know how plausible Delirium is, just because I feel like our clots are going to be really valuable on the Delirium fight itself, and we're not really going to get to use them. Good thing is we get to see where all our bosses are. Okay, we do need to build up a new army. Just sort of keep focused on that. Good, good. I think our army's already fairly strong, but the more the merrier. I love it when they have room reward as a coin. That helps out. I don't even know what happened in this room. Yeah, not really sure what happened there, but I'll accept it, I guess. Never have any idea what's actually remaining in the room. I am just kind of coasting and hoping for the best. You do your thing. The fly's got you. Nice. I'm trying to make my way down to that boss over there, but I don't know which way I have to go to get to him. I'm probably going, doing, going about this all wrong. We got lard that time. Slow worm. Oh, no, we're, we're going about this the right way, and we get an item there as well if we come back through. Should probably do that before the boss, to be honest. Right. Play this thing. Really? Okay, there you go. Oh, Nugget is something we don't actually want, I don't think. It's going to lower our fire rate a lot. A lot of foil cards. Okay. 80 damage. Um, let's, let's just pop that now. Gives us full mapping. Strength. Um, turns all enemies in the room to champions. Champions are guaranteed to drop pickups. Um, spawn a traveling salesman. Yes, please. Toxic shock is incredible for us here. Duplicates our bombs. Hangman. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Right, that's good. Toxic Shock's really good for us here. Whoa, did you see that knockback on him then? Get your horsey out of here. I think that's so much armor. Oh, and the pentagram too. We love to see it. We love to see it. I'm just going to go this way to shortcut back through to where we were. I actually think maybe Blind Rage might be a little better. We do lose quite a lot of stats, but I think with Blind Rage being able to um, make sure we have enough time to grab a coin if there's one available by giving us two times iframes is, is probably the better choice for the boss fights. Generally, no, but for the boss fights specifically, yes. And it's like, it's not as if we have an issue with damage right now, is it? Did you just move my bomb? Did you, did, you, did you just move my bomb? Put that here specifically. There we 
the toxic shock of it all is definitely helping. Keep creating clots when we can. Just in case we need them. I doubt we will. I mean, I suppose having more is really going to help with the uh, actual boss fight as well. Okay. Another boss here. This could be the boss. The frail, I think, here? No, not the frail. Skolix. Should have just looked at the boss bar. That is potentially very clutch. We might not need it, but it could come in handy. I don't think that other boss can be the one we're looking for, so I'm just going to ignore that one for now. Like, I know it's an extra item, but I really don't want to go around, um, like, taking too long to do this. IBS randomly in that room there. I don't think I want that either. I think it's going to be one of these ones. What the? No, 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 no. Does this da They don't damage my clots good. I really don't like this, though. Just because I know that the pattern's really not that hard to get through, but... With the amount of crap that's going on right now, it is kind of hard to focus on what's right and what's wrong. Like, what the movement-wise. What I should and shouldn't be doing. Okay, this could be the boss. It's not. Up an all-locked chest. I don't think that's going to be very useful. Okay, this is probably it. Yeah. Ooh, new Delirium Respray as well. Looking very good. But Telefragging is really our biggest biggest enemy right now. Telefragging could be nightmare fuel for us. Also, explosive shots. Actually, oh no, we have host hat. Doesn't matter. Explosive shots will not be a problem. Otherwise, contact damage isn't a problem really because we have such high knockback we can get him off of us. Um, lasers could be problematic, but there shouldn't be too many versions of him that can fire lasers. Uh, mom stomps, but that technically, in my opinion, counts as telefragging, so that doesn't really matter. If he swaps back to his original form for a second, he'll be dead. That's what I'm hoping for. But right now, the knockback that we've got going on is so intense that he's having a really hard time staying on target. He's not really... Jumping around too much, I was just about to say, until he literally jumped on top of me. I don't even know where he is. I really wish this room zoomed the camera out. If this room zoomed the camera out, it'd be so much easier to see what the hell's going on. Okay, this guy can fire beams. We're not we're almost there to be honest. We've charmed him here. He's gonna drop some light on us. This guy can telefrag. This guy cannot. There we go. We got him. We got him. Not too bad there at all. Not too bad there at all. A nice little clean delirium run. Absolutely beautiful. You gotta love to see it taken care of and we step into the box very nice i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one